If someone comes into you and they're having stomach pain, indigestion, where, where do you start? What do you do? Well, you, you have to start by getting a good history, understanding the circumstances when it started. Um, once again, looking at someone's lifestyle, really paring down their diet. Mm -hmm. um, because the digestive system is that interface between us and the outside in a lot of senses. What we take in, literally, mm -hmm. is going to affect that system. Um, once again, I think in my practice, I probably see the most, I don't want to label it as IBS, but sort of like a stress related digestive problem. Mm. I, because I work with so many women, I see digestive issues primarily associated with stress levels and hormonal issues as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they might also be paired up with, you know, the period and how they don't feel well at that time, right? Um, and so it's about getting into that level and, and helping sort of pare down the association there for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and can you often get people relief and how long does it take? Does it very much depend on what's going on? It does depend on what's going on. Although mm -hmm. I would say with digestive related things, that might be the place you see things the quickest, um, mm -hmm. depending on how much, once again, someone is willing to maybe tweak their diet. Um, you know, maybe take um, certain supplements regularly. Mm -hmm. You'd notice things fairly quickly with that system because it so quickly is absorbing and once again is just that first sort of interface in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so, and I help someone understand like, okay, well, what can you expect, right? And that goes with any treatment plan or any concern, but digestive often you notice quickest, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes people notice digestive changes that might not be their primary concern and we're working on something else. Mm. But if I'm helping get that system working as well as possible, you know, because of its importance to overall health, mm -hmm. people notice that often mm. first, I do find, right? Are there, are there um, tips that you find you give across the board that can pretty quickly help with digestive issues or does it depend too much to, to say that? Um, well, one I would say, I would say, first thing I, I find myself always talking to people about, what are you actually doing when you eat? Mm. Are you at your computer? Are you mindlessly eating? Are you stressed out when you're eating? Like, think about what you're doing there, because I see a lot, and people notice this once you tap them into that. If you are in the wrong gear, nervous system-wise, we need to be parasympathetic to really digest properly. Mm. That could be 90% of the problem for a lot of people, wow, right? Amazing. And most people sit at their desk and don't take a break and they don't actually look at the food mm -hmm. and actually they don't engage in the process, right? It's sort mm -hmm. of mindless and I just, oh, I have to do it because I have to do it, right? Yeah. Can't, I'm always amazed at, and that for me too, right? It mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing you touched on that struck me is stress because we think of digestion as being, I think of it as being very food based, Yeah. But it seems like stress can play a huge part in it. Hugely. And yeah. you see this more in some people than others. I think mm -hmm. once again, everybody had maybe a propensity or an individuality to feel stress physically in different places, mm -hmm. but our guts are not uncommon for some people. And you can see that, right? And people will tell you if you go back and you say, you know, as a kid and they'll be like, yeah, I noticed it then. Adolescence, it was a big problem. I went to university, bigger problem still. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's this like sort of snowball effect mm -hmm. happening. And they just haven't tapped into that, right? So once again, there's ways that you can actually sort of help decrease that manifestation in that system, right? Mm -hmm. um, I love acupuncture for that purpose. Um, diet does play an important role, but it's about first awareness, acknowledging it, and sort of actively, you know, you just have to, you have to be aware that that's a relationship in the first place, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.